ಕಚ್ಚಿ Hey, hi guys. Good afternoon. Um as usual, the traveling photographer is here. This time I I'm, I'm coming uh, to you from a different location and I'm talking about um the Kumasi Mall. And I have with me no other person but the only person who has put Kumasi on the international map. This guy has information about Kumasi like his pal. And I, I tend to wonder how he's able to do that. He's a fancy by birth and through migration and stuff like that, he found himself in Kumasi and he decided to promote Kumasi. And I'm sure he should even be Otun first. Uh, <laughs> what's the name? Uh, wow. Otun first working, work, work, working, working chief. <laughs> anyway, that's just by the way. Yeah. So I'm here with Kumasi working tall. I would prefer he tells me his name and everything. Uh, Sunian. Yeah, Charlie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, Charlie, for a long time. Charlie. I've been seeing your Facebook running like this yeah. today you are here tomorrow you are there all over kumasi tell me tell me tell me something more yeah kumasi tour how is it going yeah or kumasi working day tour, day tour yeah. right kumasi yeah. working day tour. day tour yeah tell me something good tour like a local oh wow <laughs> tour like a local yeah wow that's nice so how long have you been doing this uh most 15 years wow yeah. wow yeah. wow yeah. wow yeah. this i have to pay compliments <laughs> The guy has been doing very well for 15 years, and I'm sure it's more than 15 years, but uh, on paper it's 15 years. Yeah. Charlie, so how, how has it been? Yeah, it's not easy, but wow. it's not easy, but so we are moving. We are moving. Okay. So how is tour guiding like? Because everybody, just before and after year of return, everybody became a tour guide. Yeah. So tell, tell us, those of us who are starting to become tour guides and the rest, and we are looking at make the whites come, then we take money from them, then we do whatever. Tell, 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 us, some, <laughs> tell us something. Tour guiding, tour guiding, I would say, um, tour guiding, if you don't have a passion, you cannot be a tour guide. Wow. But tour guiding is a passion job. Mm. Yeah, it's a passion. Yeah. It's and a passion job. Yeah, it's a passion right. job. And if you don't have passion, you can be a mm. tour guide. Right. You can work with a guest, can work with a tourist, but if you don't have the passion, mm. you can uh, do your duties mm. as a tour guide. Right. Okay. Tour guide is not like going to pick a guest from the airport or hotel, and I will say that, oh, I know KGTR, I know Kekos, I know Ibri. There's, and more, there's, more, there's, to there's more to it. There's more to it. Even how to talk with the locals here yeah. and the rest too. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very yeah. important. Yeah. So, as you say, as you ask me, tour guiding, you get different types of tour guiding. For me, myself, I'm mean into local tour guiding. Oh, okay. Uh, local tour guiding is about experiencing, uh, experiencing the local culture. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm based in Kumasi, so I'll talk more about Kumasi. Right. Yeah. And tourism is about experience. Mm -hmm. Like coming to Ghana and you want to see, enjoy, where each Ghana is about is all about experience. experience yeah. Yeah. When a tourist comes to Kumasi, he don't he or she don't need the let's say fried rice with uh, KFC. Mm -hmm. The tourist need to experience right. or he or she need to eat like a local. Right. She right. need to eat kinky. And that is what you provide. Yes. Right. She need to eat for He's very good at that. It's <laughs> very good at yeah. that. So that when he or she go back, oh, he's going to show his or her pictures, random pictures to his family or family. Family. Yeah. Look at what I enjoy in Ghana. So that so you, you will get more referrals or more recommendations that when you go to Ghana, you think this kind of tour guide. Like, this kind of person to show you kind of to show you commerce. Right. Yeah. So tour guiding 
cannot just wake up one day and say that I'm a tour guide. No. Yeah. So you have to go to training. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. You have to go to school. We have a, a school called Hotcat. Oh, okay. Okay. Hot okay. Yeah. So you need to go to Hotcat. Mm. If you if only have a passion for it, for it. you can go to Hotcat. Take the shorter courses. Then you are living. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good. Well, we we fed it all. So it's not just about meeting a white or a black american or a diaspora or a caucasian or whatever and then say just take the person around means you're a tall guy there's a lot more you need to learn and this is my senior man this is my big brother this is my boss actually <laughs> I, I, i'm saying my boss because he knows what i'm talking about <laughs> he knows what i'm talking about actually so yes viewers we've had something little and i think uh those of us who are thinking of being a tour guide, I know myself, because <laughs> so I'm talking in general, okay. So those of you thinking of being a tour guide and the rest, it's not just about um, basically meeting somebody, going to pick somebody up from the airport and the rest, and then just take the person around and you go, you're a guide or something. But there's more to it. You need to, like, school, you need to learn so much, right? Yeah, so how's the journey been, like, for the past 15 years? Okay. How, we, how, how how is the journey? Is it is it smooth? Is it nice? Is it rosy? No, 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 no. I would I would tell you it's not. It's not easy. It's not easy. You know, when I came to Kumasi, I started from uh, working at the hotel. Oh, okay. As a receptionist. Oh, okay. So, so I used to work as a oh, wow. receptionist. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. So anytime the the tourist comes around, my manager will assign me. Take them to Cape Coast. Oh, okay. Originally, I'm from Cape Coast. Wow, yeah. So, said it. You, so know. My, you know, Ghana, Cape Coast is the tourism hub. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, my manager was assigned me to take them to Cape Coast. Cape Coast. Okay. So, so, this thing came frequently. So, every week I'll be going to Cape Coast, taking mm-hmm. them around. So, one day I just sat down and said, Wow. I said, as It seems I have a passion yeah. uh, in this kind of job. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. whenever I come to work, I'll sit on my, my company mm-hmm. uh, PC, then yeah, I'll, be searching, I'll be searching uh, online, the online, the tour guide, and I'll be learning. learning oh, wow. Wow. So I created the, uh, my first company was called Ghana Attractions. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> well, you see, <laughs> it's been touring more than 15 years now. Yeah. So we are getting to know the story. So I created this page called Ghana Attractions on Facebook. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, it's still working. No, I closed that one. Oh, okay. I that one. So, so whenever I finish my tours, I'll be putting the pictures and the other things on. So I started getting more uh, more bookings oh, okay. from trip advisor from even the hotels around in uh, in uh, Kuma Kumasi, oh, like okay. McLean, Golden to Living. Oh, okay. They'll be calling me, telling we have guests here. They want to talk Kumasi. They want to go to Cape Coast. Come and pick them this day and that. So I'll be going. So it came to a time, then hotel job and tour guiding became so much, too much for me. So I needed to quit the hotel. So I called my manager one day, then I handed him my resignation letter and he said, no, 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 no. You don't need, you don't need, stay, stay. But I told him, I want to go to school for six months for tour guiding. So... Back and forth, back and forth. I resigned. Went to school for six months. Oh wow! Then I created commerce working later. So okay. Yeah. So it's through the school that I realized that there are different aspects of tour guiding, yeah. and then you choose one aspect of yeah. it. Yeah. Oh okay. You know, when you go to tourism school, we do, we have so many angles. So we have the catering side. Right. We have the aviation side. Right. We have the tour guiding. We have the hotel management. Right. So I chose the tour guide yeah. side. Okay. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still learning more. With our one and only brother, Kumasi the working day. Kumasi working day tour, right? Yes. I don't have to get a name wrong. I because I'm in Kumasi. If I get a name wrong, I'll be in trouble. Anyway. Yes. Yes. So I remember some time ago you we were talking and you said, Oh, Charlie, I like the way you are showcasing Ghana and the rest. And you are putting Ghana on the map. And I was like, hey, who is this man that I've not seen him before? And he, today I'm meeting him for the first time. And he's telling me that I was also doing great yeah. stuff with uh, what I do, actually. And um, 
I, I see him more as my senior brother, my senior man, my boss, my mentor when it comes to this area because he has done this for like so many years, you understand. And um, today we are with him and I just wanted to, like we are rapping about, I want you to give me like your advice. The young guys who are coming up who want to be tour guide, who want to like make money at all costs overnight and all this. What's the advice to give to them? Uh, okay, my little advice for up and coming tour guide and those who want to join tourism industry. Mm-hmm. My advice is um, tour guiding is not a day job. You need to learn. You need to learn. It's not just a day that you get a guest, then I'll know. Say, no, I'm a tour guide. And no, we learn. We always learn. Always learn. Tourism is a very big industry. Very big industry. And if you are faithful, you work hard, you learn. Trust me, you go far. You go far. Thank you. 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 So we'll continue some other time, but don't forget the traveling photographer uh, always showcasing the beautiful side of Ghana. And hey, yeah, if you every think... big, big man, if I tell you, uh, <laughs> sometimes I watch him, I say, wow, this travel photographer is showing, he's showcasing Ghana. <laughs> you know, he's one of our, you know, every government will appoint his, uh, his uh, ambassador for tourism. But this guy, I tell you, he's... Big big ambassador, ambassador oh, showcasing wow. Ghana. When it comes to pumping side of Ghana, please don't look anywhere. The traveling Set photographer. The, the traveling photographer, photographer right. on Facebook, on Instagram, yeah. on Google search the traveling, traveling photographer. photographer right. I tell you, right. you get the best. Yeah. If you want to locate you, how do you locate you? Like on social media. Okay. On Facebook, you search Kumasi Walking Day Tours. Kumasi Walking Day Tours, yeah. right, right. On Instagram, Kumasi Tours. Kumasi Tours, okay. yeah. On Trip Advisor, Kumasi Walking Day Tours. Kumasi Walking Day Tours. Yeah. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it from the boss himself. <laughs> so, let's take that advice. Let's um, for those of us who are more passionate about um, tourism, who are more passionate about traveling, who are more passionate about knowing our area, our locality, and the rest. I said it's the best chance. Let's get back to the school. It's just six months. You can even like before you realize you start before you realize six months is almost here and you have your certificates and wow the sky or beyond the sky is your limit. So I would like to say thank you for subscribing to my channel. For those of you who have not subscribed yet, and for those of you who follow me, I say thank you and kudos. Bye bye. Okay, I can see my boss is busy over there trying to get his stuff ready. Yeah, see that the family photographer with Marcy walking day tour. Probably like a local. Eat like a local. Eat like a local. Like local. Yeah. Like local. Alright. No, see more, no. see more, see more, see more. Ghana the bee. <laughs>